Woo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it because it needs to be said. Um, we have a problem, Houston. And the problem is people are being exposed right in front of your eyes. And the problem is, they've been exposed years ago. But once they got their money, they laxed. They took the foot off the gas. They're not hungry anymore. None of those guys want it like that. They're all the way 100% soft. And you want to know the major problem? What really got people upset? It's their preparation for the game. A.D. Anthony Davis. Don't forget to hit the like button. Just coming through the door. You could just do what the banner says at the bottom, and I appreciate you more and more each day. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it. Like we do it. Now. As we sit here and we go through the the motions, right? Go through all the motions. We can point out and basically recognize when something isn't working correctly. Do you continuously do the same thing that isn't working for you? Or let's say it was working for you. But as we see, as you're getting older, as you keep getting injured, it makes it harder and harder for you to get back into your groove. It doesn't look like things are working. So if you're an Anthony Davis fan, or a <clears throat> or a Laker fan this would relate to you and you might say why or how Anthony Davis came out and said he hadn't shot a basketball since April the 5th and that just was alarming to Laker fans who are up in arms about him not shooting the basketball based on the fact that he was injured yet again and wasn't playing at all and wasn't playing well and they thought that, you know, season's over, he's going to be hitting it pretty hard. Well, this is part of his routine. I mean, if you just didn't know it. <clears throat> he actually stated um, this before. And then you get to the basketball part. I'm going to let you listen. What I normally do uh, because of the shorter offseason. But uh, usually um, when the season's over, get the monster just let my body you know heal and then I'm going six weeks just straight weight training um, every day um, and then you get to the basketball park uh, about a month and a half maybe a month month and a half before training camp because um, that kind of comes back easy um, so what I know so that's what he does before he goes into training camp he starts back shooting basketball again after weight training for a month Normally takes a month away from basketball. Okay. That's his routine. Then he goes to full out weight training. 
Then after two, three months of not shooting a basketball, he's now going to start shooting basketball. And then everything's just going to start coming back. So he's basically got less than one month before he goes into training camp of him touching a basketball. That's cool. If that's how he wants to do it. He's another guy that idolizes Kobe Bryant. Let's listen to Kobe's approach to training. If you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to 2. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you need to recover, get back out, train, start training at 6, train from 6 to 8. And now you go home, you shower, you do dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you begin, right? Those are two sessions. Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, four to six, you come home, you breakfast, relax, so so, blah, blah, blah. now you're back at it again, nine to eleven, right? relax, and I'll tell you back at it again, two to four, now you're back at it again, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four. Right? So now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger by year five or six doesn't matter what kind of work they do in the summer they're never going to catch up if you get up at 10 in the morning so there it is different mental approach to how the game is played This is why AD gets injured. Because a lot of these guys is what James Worthy say. They lift weights, they barely shoot basketball, they shoot a bunch of they do shoot arounds, they lift weights and they go on the internet. Anthony Davis has been taking a month off, uh, living a very soft life. You know, it's cool because they basketball is very strenuous and you do all these different things, but Okay. Now, after he took his month off, he's supposed to start his weight training. That's cool. But weight training should come with basketball because that loosens up your mechanics. You know, you're, you're lifting and shooting at the same time. You ever been to a gym and you lift weights and then you go and play basketball? And then the, the basketball feel like it's a pebble and it takes your body a while to get adjusted. Would you be shooting like mad strong? Until your, you know, it settles down. That's what it's like when you do a whole month. That's just one day. Do a whole month of basketball. Then try, I mean, weights. Then try to go to basketball. You're going to be spending time trying to get your body adjusted to shooting the basketball without the weight training. There should be a balance. Weight training, then basketball. Weight training, then basketball. Weight training, then basketball. You should have that program. You shouldn't go a whole month of weight training without basketball, then a whole month of basketball without weight training. That's just stupid. He's been doing this, and he's been getting injured. Because it's probably trained for girls track. But um, this system that he keeps doing, sometimes systems change. Kobe Bryant had to change his system many different times he had to be convinced to change his diet see what you guys don't know is when Kobe was number eight he was crushing it crushing it with the number eight he couldn't be touched but what many of you didn't know is that Kobe was starting to fade. All the years of putting on this 
stress on his body, the whole nine. In 2005, 2006, uh, I think it's 2005 or 2006, Kobe changed his diet and started eating more healthy because he was noticing he was fatiguing and breaking down more in games that he more than he used to when he was younger he could just you know channel the injured energy and keep playing so after his uh, knee surgery where he went over and had the procedure done on his knee because he wasn't getting the, the lift that he needed on his jump shot he was back reborn and it gave life back to his game he was back jumping again and he was just like a kid again happy to be able to, to perform at a high level once again now the diet with the workout kept Kobe's body fresh for a long time buddy this is how he was able to play 20 years at the rate Anthony Davis is going he'll be stumbling on 20 years because he's not an effective big man he's getting older plus he packs on the weight he eats like a mad truck driver and then he comes into camp in the season overweight he does he has not yet figured out his discipline and he's no spring chicken no more for his position guys are getting younger and younger coming into the league and all of these injuries they don't just because they heal don't mean they're not there the pain is there, the scars are there, it's there. We see it, we know it's there. So what say you, AD? Are you willing to sacrifice? Can that team depend on you? The Lakers were planning on building a whole team around you. Now they don't know if they should move forward with keeping you on the team or just trade you this season because you're injury prone. So it's not a good look. You know, his whole career he's been injury prone. But since he's been with the Los Angeles Lakers, hell, they, they can't, this guy can't finish on his feet. So. It's one of those things where LeBron now sees the difficulty. <coughs> he brought AD here. He started getting AD drinking wine. Come on, AD. Let's drink this wine. We'll train them all. Just do it like. We'll take it easy. Claim they have a championship, which is nothing but a pandemic bubble ch title. Nobody honors it. So now, when the public looks at it, and they see everybody as frauds or what they are, the people look shocked. The people look like they're ready to complain. But what could they do? Now, the way I see it is we have a major problem on the horizon. And the major problem that we have on the horizon is the fact that we have a situation that other people hadn't been able to take care of and get out of. The NBA has been babysitting these players for so long 
and they cry and they whine and they get all everything they want and this stuff has ruined the entire league and no one is saying anything about it that's a major no-no you look at players like Jason Tatum he's out here DM and Kobe Bryant who's not here anymore you know it's just too much foolery going on and it's pissing people off more than anything so I say that to say this keep your eyes on the prize Because all these dudes are full of lies. So keep your eyes on the prize. Now, Kobe won with a 80% teams who was like 80%, right? 80% wins. <laughs> You know, they were in the West. LeBron went with teams who were basically had a 54% winning percentage, if not less. Now. Let's look at what's going on with the uh, with the generation of today. The generation of today is a whole different, you know, like it's a whole different, you know, what they would call. The generation of today is like it's like a whole different reality, you know. It's like everybody is just dumb and just babyfied. You got thirty-year-old babies, you know. They be like, "Oh, that's my baby." No, he ain't. He's supposed to be a man about ten, ten times over. They crying and whining, and it's just like, you just sick of it. So, so to me, it's... It goes back to everyone's telling people like this is the norm or this is what to do. Now would you buy an exercise video from Anthony Davis? Well that's what them that's what I'm saying. That's what they try to do. They push the Lakers so much, they will sell you anything about this team and want you and expect you to buy it. Like Anthony Davis, look at him train. He's one of the best. He was getting worked out by Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. He was at Kobe Camp getting worked out by Drew Holiday. Because most of these guys don't work on their game. They work on in the weight room. You need to be on a basketball court working out. Basketball. Friday, April 5th. I haven't shot a basketball since done the final April, good like maybe like April 5th? Like where you actually shot a basketball. Friday, April 5th. I'm so, I 
Let that sink in. April 5th. Man, it's like they still talking about Steph Curry versus LeBron. Dude, come on. LeBron has never played with a player like Klay Thompson. Play with Kyrie Irving, man. Stop playing. No, because people see the world differently. You got to understand, um, people don't really give two dams about LeBron James in real life, actual time. But he loves to try to make himself relevant. And ESPN loved to bring up meaningless stats that don't mean a damn thing. Steph Curry's 40 and 10 game mattered because he won. And then he's saying, the oldest player with 40 and 10 in the finals is LeBron James. He did it at 35. Steph is 30, 34. Will Chamberlain was 33. Kareem was 33. It don't mean jack it. Oh, no, no. Can't compare LeBron to AD. Well, I'm not doing that. Uh, to me, LeBron James is just pure athleticism. That's it. Pure athleticism. But he's done. He can stay in the weight room. He can get on the exercise bike. He can do all of these things. It's not going to make you a better defender. It's not going to get your speed back. You are done. You have to accept your role as the done man. Washed, in other words, in LeBron's language. You're washed. It's over, man. You had your run. Your run's been over since 2015. It ain't been LeBron's run since. We are living in the Steph Curry era. Kyrie might get traded in the middle of the season to the Lakers. Why? Why would they want to trade Kyrie Irving to the Lakers to help LeBron, right? Because the damn show sure ain't about helping Kyrie. And I just don't see that happen. AD needs to learn how to adjust and switch. His training, his mentality, because what he's doing is not working. It's not the strength and conditioning coach I'll keep firing. It's your approach to training and your discipline. That's one thing young players have to realize is that when you're doing basketball and you're playing it, there's a discipline that you got to have. You can't be going to Mickey D's, going to get some McDonald's, going out and playing. That's going to work in your 20s. 
But then when you start fatiguing in games and been wondering why, that's why. <laughs> that why. So make sure you know what the hell you're doing. Well, there are a lot of people working on situations. You know, they're working on making things better for themselves. They're working on trying to go in a different direction. But sometimes it just is what it is, you know. If I had a say in a matter, uh, a lot of things would have been changed, would have been done differently. So that's just, you know, outside looking in, things would have just been done differently. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Jordan has six rings. That's the debate or whatever they said. I don't know, man. It's it's just crazy. Try to do the best I can. That's all I can do. One thing for sure, two things for certain. I won't be having anything to do with it. So, on that note. Not everybody can do Kobe. You heard what Kobe said. Not everybody can do that, man. And he's right. Well, keep the circus in its own arena then there won't be any problems. But when you don't control your suspect, these are the things that happen. Things get out of hand and things go up. So, on that note, I'm going to get out of here kept you long enough thank you guys for wishing my family uh, great health they're doing much better you know, they both think they're cured as you heard in the video so <laughs> I just want to see some negative tests before I start you know letting my guards down but it is what it is so you tell me, does Anthony Davis need to change his routine? I think he, he should. Because you keep getting injured every year, so you must be doing something wrong in your training. Let me know 
And don't forget to always uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, the Patreon Carcino for Life. We revealed some secrets about LeBron that you didn't understand or never know. He probably still don't know. So that was pretty interesting. Now, there's more to come because we got part six of the Chicago Bulls fake dynasty. The final chapter is still coming. I got you. I'm out.